Okay, so I think we found our next course. It is CFB Winnipeg GC. And it looks like, from what I found on this one, this is a course out of Canada. It is a executive nine hole course. I guess the real name of the course is the CFB Winnipeg Golf Club. Whatever CFB stands for, I don't know. Um, it looks like there is two tee boxes for this one. Um, let me go in here and check it out. Let's go and change our course conditions to green speed, very slow. Now, I've not played this course, um, so I know nothing about it, but I did a little research, and um, this one kind of came up a couple times, so looks like there's three different pin placements that we, uh, we can have here, so let's uh, create our match. We're going to choose, I'm going to go with the red tees today, and the reason why is I'm going to be using almost golf balls today. I'm working on some swing things, so i come to find out if I use a real golf ball and I'm working on swing changes, I have a tendency to use Hello there, and the golf welcome. ball's pattern of what Hello, happens. John. Um, cool, there's a plane flying. I don't think I've ever seen that Let's before. Get things going. Let's have a good I didn't know that was a thing. Four, first hole. Let's do this. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, I use the... Uh, the pattern of, I, I start caring too much about the ball flights, um, and I start changing my swing to try to fix it, but with the almost off ball, uh, I don't do that as much. So, let's see what we got here. We have, let's see, we have, let's go back over here. Um, I gotta get my box turned on, my golf control box turned on, let's get that going. Alright, so now let's go back. Alright, so, uh, looks like we have a pretty tight fairway here, this hole says it's 182. Um, looks like it just goes out a little layup area. A little layup area out there, maybe a oh, hundred yards or so. Let's see. 150 yards. Alright, so, now with an almost golf ball, sorry, I'm a lot of while I'm playing, so. Uh, um, with an almost golf ball, it seems to fly pretty accurate up to about 100 yards from what I've found. After 100 yards, you know, the ball speed's not as high, you're not going to get as much distance, but I find for these short courses, um, they work just fine. So, Let's see, we're going to go with a 7 iron. Should be alright. Yeah, I didn't hit great. It's a pretty tight little fairway. This would be a good course for um, some kids. Some kids playing. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, you're kind of in some deep stuff. This is yeah, the danger zone. We're going to aim out here to the right, and let's switch clubs, see if I can't play some sort of low hook around this tree. Solid swing. Close. Yeah, I like all the... Little background well, things, little you're, hut, um, the, you're still in it. The little shelter yeah, house fence. You're eating from well, a pretty gross good. lie, so don't let it get you down. So far, it's alright. I have a little chip here on the green. 
these trees seem like they're right on top of the green, but that's all right. down to just ice on the pina colada so it's a little hard to drink from a straw all right 175 let's see what you can do here. another tight one looks like there's some sort of hangar airport thing in the back that's that's neat it gives you something to look at so you don't you're not just stuck with you know you're not just stuck with a hill or a tree or something like that it gives you something look at that again. This is, and the green is pretty big. Can't really get in trouble here other than hit some trees. I don't know how you do the flying plane thing. I don't know. I've never seen that. All right, here we go. Might be out to the right a little. That's no, okay. Yeah, just short. Short from the almost golf ball. That's all right. And this golf ball is really dirty. Uh, I, I hit it outside for a while and it stained. I cleaned it up, but it's uh, it's got stains on it, so it doesn't. Uh, I'm sure that affects some things, but that's all right. A little chip on here. I just chipped with a six iron, so that should be a low runner. Yep. Stop. I like the fence. This looks nice. Uh, I've tried. I've built fences before, and there's one golf course that I'm working on now that has probably a thousand yards of fence, and it's uh, it's not fun. I'm not a fan of doing it that way. Sitting at piece by piece, but uh, see, this is supposed to be a nine hole course, and, I believe. Uh, what is this? All right, so we're at 152. No fairway whatsoever. back. It's a different course. I mean, it feels like you're playing next to an airport or you're playing next to like some sort of... Oops, wrong button. You're playing next to some sort of... Uh, um, some sort of... large company or something. There's buildings, there's parking lots of cars and stuff like that. Alright. I'm going to hit the six again since I'm losing distance here. The club about fell out of my hands. That's my little left. Yeah. This could be in the rough. Looks like we'll be doing a chip shot. like we got 30 yards and again the background the yeah, background's interesting it's not boring so that's cool 30 yards should be good Sitting at three over for the round. Yeah, yeah three over. I'm not surprised. Okay, this is the fourth hole. 167. Wide open. Alright, let's go back to our almost golf ball. I'm going to need to go up probably like two clubs. Let's go. See what this is. All right, <laughs> this is this is a four iron, and we're 162, and there's that plane again, which is cool. All right, 162 four iron. <laughs> eh, it 
it's a little low. Yeah. Still working on some lower body weight shift drills and stuff like that, and it's, I don't know, it, uh, there's two different ways of, for me, I find it playing golf. You can, you know, play for score and, and try to do the best you can, or I like to practice, uh, I like to play and practice drills while I'm playing to kind of get both of them together so I can kind of get used to doing the drills and feeling the movements while playing golf. So, I like to play things like this. Three over for the round. While doing the drills, I just, you know, don't care too much about the green. score. Just try to focus on what I'm trying to work on. All right, we have a tiny green. 172. All fence over on the right. Little stream out front. These greens are pretty tiny, so you're going to have to be pretty... Pretty confident to play and hit these. Um, let's see what I got. We'll close this. Uh, this isn't probably going to get there, but I don't really want to look for another club, so I'm going to hit the six on it. short. <laughs> I hit a little fat, but I think that's the golf ball kicking in. Alright, let's get this on the green. We are at only 28 yards, but it's a tiny green. 28 yards. I don't know what club this is, but that was a 9-iron. Again, they got a lot of fence work in the back. It's pretty neat. Sitting at four over for the round. Okay, full number six. Whoa, where'd this come from? 577 yards. Straight away, par five. Okay. I was thinking this was a, a par three course of some kind, or a short course, like an executive style course. But oh well, let's hit a driver. Now this is really where you see the numbers a little goofy. Uh, This is looking yeah, like, like it's going to get rough. That's all right. Oh, there's a deer. I think I put a deer out there. All right, see, it's got me laying up. And that's not going to happen. So let's aim back out to the fairway. We're going to aim right by that deer. I'm going to hit a three wood. Trying to hit a fade three wood. Hit a little flat. Should be straight though. Take off a lot of distance, a lot of ball speed. Back on the fairway yeah, now. Good stuff. Okay, looking at, I'd say, 180 yards out. Yeah, 
All right, so we're 180. I'm going to hit 500. I don't know if this has enough. Yeah. So the almost golf balls, they're really good for up to like 120 yards, I find. But over that, it just gets kind of goofy. But one, I don't really feel like listening to the sound of a golf ball smack a screen right now. And two, like I said, I'm working on some swing changes, so 38 yards. Get down. Get down. Stop, 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 stop. Ugh. All right, I'm going to try this yellow foam ball that I got laying here for this chip. Let's just see what happens. 10 yards. Stop. That's probably pretty accurate to what I did, considering it was only 10 yards away. Okay, so that'll keep you at six over for the round. Okay. All right, what we got here? Number seven. Pond on the left. Let's do this. Tiny green. Tiny green out there. Wow. All right. So I got a pitching wedge. I'm gonna keep pitching wedge. Uh, aim. I didn't even hit a golf ball. All I did was put the golf ball down. Okay. Mulligan. Computer's running a little slow right now. There we go. Seventh hole coming up. All right, one twelve. Overdraw a little. No, we're all right. Just short. Run, 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 run. Of course it stops. All right, little chip shot, six yards. I find these the hardest to do. Should be good though. See, they put a bunch of houses in the back, but they didn't change the house uh, when they planted, or not planted, but when they placed the houses, they didn't change the Sitting different house to mix it up, over. so they all look the same, which is fine. And we find ourselves on the eighth team. Obviously, when they created this course, they weren't going for something amazing. It's supposed to be a simple... Simple short course. Good kids course. I mean, other than that part five. All right, so we're we are. What are we? Two seventy eight par four. That's not bad. All right, we're going on driving iron. Let me look at this again. Just gonna try to hit an easy driving iron out there.
Should be good. Should be straight. Man, did you ever launch that? Stay in the fairway. Stay. What we got here? Gap wedge. I don't know how far I am, but I'm sure it's gap wedge. If it's not, it's going to be. 79. Another tiny green. It looks like that green was made with a brush. I'm pretty sure that's just a pattern and a designer where you just do one click to make the green shape. Which is fine. And there's the plane back again. Alright, gap wedge. Draws just a little. Nice. And it stays straight. Stop. Stop. Stay. Yeah, it looks like obviously all the houses they put in are all the same, but I guess it kind of looks like it'd be like an apartment complex or something where all the buildings Six are the same. Over for the round. So I guess if that's what they were going for, then yeah, they nailed it. Last hole. 252. Uh, Let's see what happens here. Par four. Straight away. Another tiny green that looks like it drops off in the back real far. And just a stream and a bridge and a couple sand traps. Let's. Uh, how far did I say? 252. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. Just for the fun of it, since this course has been kind of boring. Nothing exciting here other than a flying plane. I'm going to hit driver. Let's see if I can't drive this thing. Okay. Oh, 239. Yeah, but with the golf ball, it's... I think this is oh, gonna be no, wet. No, no. Bounce, 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 bounce. Really? <sighs> now it's a challenge. Now it is a challenge. All right, we're hitting that again. And we have the ninth hole coming up. We'll aim more out to the right. All right, here we go. All right, come on, girl. Now that was a swing. There we go. Now run, 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 run. Now stop. <laughs> oh. Alright, I made it worth it. That was fun. Okay. So, short nine hole course. Alright, looking like you're ending with a five over par today. Uh, nothing amazing. Alrighty. Thank you very much. Okay. For the round, wasn't, and we'll um, see you next time. I don't know if I'd play it again. I think I could probably find something new to play that might be more fun. It was all right. I mean, it took 24 minutes to play the whole thing, and that's with me talking during the whole time. With the plane flying around, that's pretty cool. I get that. So, I guess out of five, let's uh, let's start rating these courses. So, out of five or ten, it's about ten. Out of ten, I'm gonna go with like a three. I give her a three. That was CFB Winnipeg. GC.